Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to my stress-free farm, Mercury Farms. Reason why it's stress-free, no loan, we got cash, and we got loads of more cash sitting right in front of us with a sunflower. Oh yes. Uh, it's good to log into a game, see you got a lot of crop ready for harvest, and seeing that crop price at a good price and climbing. Uh, so this is one thing we need to get to today for sure. Uh, harvest some flowers and sell. Another like $1,000, $1,500 we can go ahead and buy the land right next to us. That is kind of our goal for the day. Our other goal for the day, of course, other than harvesting some flowers, buying some land, is I need to cut some grass, tet it, windrow it, get some hay, and uh, put that into some storage because we have no hay make still make rations or feed the sheep so those are some things that we need to do but you know the sunflower is ready for harvest and like I said the price is over a thousand dollars and climbing so yeah this farmer has two thumbs up right now so yeah we're gonna be har starting to harvest this uh, I gotta go grab the Volvo truck wherever that may be because I really don't know uh, I just need to get this guy started, get around this wonderful tree down here. And then we'll get him off on a worker. And then I'll go grab the truck. And time make it come back, he might be kind of nearing a full capacity harvester. The case Puma is in the tree field. Weeding away, because that has weeds in it. So yeah, I definitely want to get rid of those. And that's pretty much what we have in store for us today anyways. First day back on the farm. And no rush to go ahead and get this field reseeded right away because... Yeah, we're going to buy that land over there and... Let's see, all fields have weeds in it. Um, well, they're all growing. Uh, sunflower, sunflower... Cotton. Well, okay. Uh, is that potato? Yeah, that's potato. And barley? Yeah, and barley. Well, there is my trailer. Or trailers. But no truck. I'm going to grab the truck. Wherever that may be. Get the trailer. Get back to the combine harvester. And, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be harvesting our sunflowers. I think the truck might be up here. I hope so. It's got to be somewhere. Well, as you can see, I have been rather busy harvesting this field. Uh, yeah, we almost got a full trailer of sunflowers out of this field. But the main thing is we're up to $236,000, which means... Oh, yes. Time to buy some more land and be broke. I never thought I was going to purchase this much land, but uh, here we are. We now own all this beautiful crop over here that's uh, growing. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, the cotton don't care about too much. The potatoes don't care about much too much. Yeah, don't care too much about. Uh, the barley, eh. Sunflower right now, uh, I do care about because as we look at the price, $1,106 and still climbing. And we got tons of sunflower to go. Not just this field, but the field over by our silo as well. It's full of sunflower and it's ready for harvest. I am going to set this guy off on a worker because what I need to do is we're going to grab our truck where the engine was running. Uh, I need to bring this back to our silo. And put this into stock for now. Because, yeah, the price is rising and we got another field to go. And this trailer is, uh, what is it, like 90 or 87% uh, full. And I probably have to unload the combine maybe one more time here. 
So that <clears throat> excuse me, that drops us down to just over a thousand dollars in the bank account. But obviously, is anyone worried right now? Nah. We got money everywhere. For the most part, uh, since we sold our sold our eggs a couple uh, last week, <laughs> that's why we're in the situation we are. Buying fields. Uh, our case Puma is done weeding this field. By I'm assuming he missed some spots around the tree. So I've been trying to think of what to do with the money that we get from the sunflowers. Uh, I've been thinking about. For a while, I've been thinking about buying more cows, um, buying a some kind of a cultivating machine implement. But I think what I need to do is, because I've been saying it for a while, I think the first thing we'll do is do some work uh, in the next couple days when these fields are ready for harvest. We'll harvest those fields out and expand our parking lot just a little bit because we're getting more implements, more stuff. And I like to have a drive through silo instead of that one right there. That's for sure. And that's what we'll start with and then maybe get a cultivator. Cultivator is not a huge thing, but I would like to start cultivating fields after we plow them. And then obviously, maybe start purchasing some more cows to help out our quote unquote dairy farm get along. Although the cows have done nicely reproducing themselves, uh, it's time to speed up the process just a little bit more. I mean, that cow pasture does hold quite a few amount of cows, and we're like a quarter... Wait, I don't know actually how that actually holds. Uh, but, yeah, we're like a quarter to halfway full. Thank you, sir. I can't afford uh, you much longer anyway, so I'm going to wait until you get to the end of the row. And I'll fire you. And I'll hopefully finish this. Well, I should be able to finish up myself. But the question is, is it all going to fit into the combine? Now, it's not a necessi uh, necessarily that we need to cut the grass and make hay today. I mean, our animals should be fine for at least three or four more days. But you don't want to put it off if you don't have to. Now, obviously, I would like to put this guy in a worker in the other field. But the problem is, he's going to keep filling up. And uh, I'll be busy mowing grass and tedding it. But I think what we'll do is we'll head on over to the next field. I'll do two headlands around the field and take care of the cubby hole corner. And uh, that should give them plenty of room and then we'll set them off in a worker. Then we'll grab our T8, go grab the mower and tether and try to make some quick work of cutting some grass. And if I have to, then I'll just uh, teleport back to the truck and unload the combine as needed. Because I would like to sell the sunflower as soon as the price peaks. But luckily our rabbits, greenhouses, and orchards are paying off for us. We just got like another $1,000, well, was it $1,500? I didn't really see how much we had. Uh, yeah, somewhere in that vicinity is what we get per hour. And it does not look like I'm going to get all this, obviously, into the combine since we are full. We are full. I'll grab this little bit over here because apparently I wasn't harvesting straight. There's a shocker. Pipe out. Let's grab our truck. Yeah, so we got over 60,000 liters of sunflower. So obviously at a price of 1,100 and climbing. Yeah, we're looking at we're looking at 66 grand just off this field alone. Now the other field isn't as big. Looks like I got some crops over there as well. Uh, the other field isn't... I don't think it's as big as this. But we are, we could be looking at a $100,000 payday in sunflowers. Well, I've made some headway on the headlands over here. On the other sunflower field that we have going. Two rounds is pretty good. But I still need to clean up this little cubby hole over here. And then I'll empty what I have in the harvester into the trailer. And then uh, we'll go grab our T8. 
and see how much of the grass we can get cut. We're going to probably get one field cut, and then I'll have to come down here and take care of the harvester. And then we'll cut the other field as well. So we're just going to cut the grass and tend it today. And probably tomorrow as we'll windrow it up and pick it up. But that big field over there, we're just going to call that the big field from now on. Because, well, it's, it's a big field. Uh, in the future, that's going to be our cotton slash uh, root crop harvesting field. At least that is the plan. Uh, for now, though, uh, yeah, we're... We're a little bit short on the cash to be buying either harvester. So in the meantime, we'll be putting something over there. Maybe not for a while, though, because, uh, yeah, we, we got to clear out that up one field, or fields, I guess it actually is. It's going to take a while. We got to we gotta lease a tree harvester once again. Get those trees out of there. Well, we'll make some cash with that, obviously. And then, like I said, the two sunflower fields that they have, I'll probably harvest those, the barley. Eh, I'll see how I feel when it comes time, when it's ready for harvest, if I want to harvest it or not. And then, of course, we'll have to plow the, you know, merge the field together, plow it. Uh, maybe by then we'll have a cultivator by, you know, by selling the trees, we should be have enough money maybe to buy a cultivator. Alright, now that this guy is pretty well taken care of, I just checked a little while ago. The price of sunflowers is still going up. I think we were at eleven $1 hundred and seventeen dollars per thousand liters. All right, I want to make sure you have plenty of width here. That should be more than fine. He's good to go now. If I remember our T eight uh, while we're here, eleven seventeen, so it's still there. So I think it's getting ready to top out. But our T eight is way over here because of our beautiful surrogate spreader that we have. Is that not going to fold up? There it goes. Like, fold up. Uh, but we are leaving you here. To your lonesome, sir. Because we don't need you just at the moment. Yeah, we still got a whole bunch of chaff that I have not... That might be compacted. Oh, wow, we got a weed problem up here, don't we? That's going to require some herbicide. That's going to mean that's going to need to be taken care of before the corn uh, completely gets ready for harvest. So at some point we'll get to that. Just want to drive up here and see how our orchards are doing. That one's a little low on manure. Yeah, we're just giving ourselves more and more jobs up here. As for buying more fields now, I think we have more than enough to to handle what we have. Originally, I thought I was going to like buy these three fields right here on the right hand side and merge those together and make like a cotton field. But I think what we'll do is that big field that we have now. That'll just we'll just cycle that back and forth from a cotton field to a root crop harvesting kind of a field. Alright, so how is everything parked in here? It's also in the future, if we do get more cows, well, we we'll probably will, because they are reproducing, but if we do buy some more, um, yeah, I may actually get the mixer. Because when I mean get more cows, I mean get more cows. And then going back and forth with that 60,000 liter mixer, which has done us rather well. But if we get more cows, that's a lot of trips back and forth. And if we get the mixer, we can just put this straw, hay, and silage up here. Right into the mixer. Instead of bringing it down to a silo. Sorry, I was concentrating just a little bit there on... <laughs> No, 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 you were right. Uh, that button there. Unfold that. Alright, I think we're good to go. 
Seems like we're good to go. I'm pretty sure this equipment here needs to be repaired. But it's going to be good to go for us for now anyways. It has been a while since we've done this. That's for darn sure. But we're going to try to make some quick work of this. So what we're going to do is mow this field. And then I'm sure by the time I'm done with this field, the combine harvester is going to be full of some sunflowers. It shouldn't take us too long to mow this field. Actually, I'm trying to think now. Did I place down a workshop up here? One of those little toolboxes and handy jacks worked areas like we have down at the other farm, the main farm. I don't think so. And I don't think I'm going to fit between the tree and the hedgerow there, so... The tether is just a little bit wider than the mowing area, but that's fine. That's kind of what you want. And I'm getting that lag spiky thing again, but I have not been in this section of the map, so that's probably why. But this should give us more than enough hay for a while, like always. Because it has been a while since we've done this. <laughs> I don't remember how many episodes it's been since we did, did some grass cutting. We were doing a lot in the beginning, that's for sure, to get enough food for the cows, and we were doing silage runs. And But now with the forage harvester, yeah, we don't really need the grass. For silage, anyways. Yeah, so when we get done harvesting that sunflower today... Obviously, the price should have reached. Yeah, the combine's already almost full. Well, he's going to have to sit down there. We're going to be paying him just to sit in the combine while uh, while we finish this field. And once again, at the beginning, I'm like, yeah, we'll just leave all the trees in because that'll be, be kind of, you know, neat to just have, like, not just a bare grass field, but, like, a field with some trees into it and I'll have to go around it and... Then you get moments like today where I don't really feel like going around the trees so much. So, I mean, what I could do is when we lease a tree harvester, is I could come up here and just take care of some of these trees. I find it interesting when I go over this little section here. It That's where... I think it was where the cow barn would be. I'm trying to remember what was there. Of course, we went on to Expert Farmer, so we had no placeables down. But I want to say that's where the cow barn should be. But you can see the flying saucer from here. It's still there. The government hasn't been here to take care of that. The smoking wreck. A full grain tank. No kidding. Yeah, so I think we do have... We're getting close to actually just 100 cows, I think. And is it 250 or is it 300 cows for that cow pasture? I don't know. I know I talked about in the beginning that, oh yeah, we're going we might even have two cow pastures. Well, on hard economy, it takes a while to get the money up that high. <laughs> And now I don't know where I would actually put it. I mean, I guess I could make some more room by cutting into one of these grass fields and place another one down, but 
We are a ways away from filling up the first cow barn, so I'm not too concerned about it. And really, I think taking care of maybe like 300 cows, you know, that's going to be a handful in itself. Yeah, so I think we're done buying fields. It's just a matter of getting enough cash to buy two more harvesters and a trailer for the cotton. And of course a couple other pieces of equipment like a cultivator. As you saw we have our slurry spreader now. Like I said, also maybe a Total Mix Rations mixer in the future. A bigger one. But right for now, I think our 60,000 liter one should be more than capable of doing what we needed to do. But that's after we buy some more cows in the future. Always planning ahead. Well, that's a big mound of grass. Which is now hay. has taken me quite a while. I mean, we're already into the afternoon hours. Usually I try to, on Mercury Farms in the Pacific Northwest, I've been trying just to uh, record until about the noonish hour and then record from noon till dark time. But it's taken me a long time to harvest the field over by the livestock market. And of course now we're harvesting the other sunflowers. I did a lot of that harvesting myself, trying to save on a worker so we could uh, get enough cash early on to buy that field. Once I finish up this grass field, we'll go down, go on down. We'll take care of the combine so we can get back to work. Now I want to say with this big of an area, this must be where the cow. It was either cows or sheep. You would think we'd get a lot of grass off this field since it hasn't been mowed in ages. And what I'll probably do is make one more pass up through here try to get some of these areas around the trees and whatnot. This tether that we have is a perfect tether for the big M. But we're not purchasing the big M here. We don't have enough we don't have that big of a field to concern ourselves about. Driving like a drunk now, just trying to get all the little pieces that I can. I say that's good enough for this field here. And I might as well turn this off because I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be able to teleport all the way down there, empty out the combine, and get back up here before this engine shuts off. I don't think the tether can fit up in certain areas here, but Alright, hop on down here. 
And of course, the pipe is always facing not the correct way for sure. Looks like he got about three passes on the field before he filled up. Now you can see we're getting another full trailer here, which is great. So I'm going to unload this guy. Then I'm going to send him back on his way. Then I'm going to go back up there and try to mow the other field. Uh, if I can back up the combine the correct way. Let's see how we doing while he's unloading. We're waiting. Sunflowers. Wait, wasn't that at eleven seventeen? Now it's at eleven fifteen, but it says it's still right. Am I? Am I? Oh, just while this we look at it. Well, I guess it topped out at eleven fifteen. So you know what we'll be doing once this guy gets done. Um, it'll take a while, but I'm gonna get some work done, bring it back, and probably at that point we'll be. Close to finishing har harvesting this field here. And then we're going to go sell some sunflowers and make tons of cash. Four o'clock in the afternoon and our sunflower harvest is finally over. Heading up with our first 60,000 liters of sunflowers to Windmill Hill. Uh, while that was harvesting... I grabbed the case Puma and grabbed the herbicide sprayer and whipped through this cornfield rather quickly. So we got the weeds out of there. Uh, took care. Oh, I went right past where I wanted to go. Uh, yeah, that's where the end of the map is, Peanut. So how about backing up? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I also took care of the weeds that he couldn't get around the tree and the tree field that we have. And right now the case Puma is also fertilizing the second stage of fertilizer in the tree field because uh, that canola is just it's in the last stage so I need to get that done before it turns ready for harvest I did clean up this truck a little bit with a pressure washer well not a little bit I cleaned it up uh, it was filthy and uh, help re oh that's got to be the case Puma so yeah so also when we sell this off here when we go back I'm going to treat myself to upgrading this trailer from a 60,000 liter to a 90,000 liter. It's only going to cost us 10 grand to do so. And with the big field now that we have down there and we're going to do like root crop harvesting in the future probably, it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrading this uh, to, you know, be able to hold 30,000 more liters. And uh, yeah, we're going we're to have the cash now for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, so $66,904. And we do have more than 60,000 liters in the silo right now. So upgrading the trailer. I got like maybe 70,000 more liters. So I'll have to make two more trips up here. So we're going to upgrade the trailer. And that way we just have to make one trip. And also in the future, as you probably, in case you forgot, we have like those 200 and some odd thousand liters of canola to sell at some point. And the way that's going, um, we're going to have more than that because I got a couple fields of canola as well. But we have a lot of work to do on this farm, and I think I'm at the stage now is uh, when it comes time to uh, start the day, we're just going to do jobs that uh, we feel like doing at this point. The farm is doing rather well. Now you can see that canola is just getting close to being ready for harvest. Uh, we have plenty of jobs to do. I got these fields back here that you know I'm not even getting to. They got weeds in them and whatnot. Uh, they're small fields. I'm not too concerned about them, so... Nope, don't nope. hit the E once. There we go. So let's come in here. Customize that. Capacity. So for 10 grand, we're going from 60 to 90,000 liters. Customize. Thank you. And now i got to hook the trailer back up. Alright, so now we can hold 90,000 liters. Which, as we saw, just harvesting the sunflowers in the field over there, I had a full trailer before we were done harvesting, so... Yeah, I never thought I was going to use this trailer in this map, and then the, our fields are just freaking bigger and better fields, but yeah, I think we're done buying fields. Uh, it's going to be hard to maintain the ones that we have now, so... We are good to go there. It looks like we get to use our slurry spreader. Probably the first place we use our slurry spreader is in this field right here with this harvested. Is this field... 
Now this field does not need any work, so I think if I spray slurry in it, and the first time we go to seed it, that should be our double stage of fertilization. Uh, so we'll end up with 68,143 liters, and now it looks like, wait a minute, it's not, it's only two-thirds of the way full. That's right. But this is a pretty darn good day. I mean, we, we were at, what, like $230,000 to start the day. And we're going to end the day still over $100,000. And we spent $245,000 on new, a new field. So I'm also going to have to think in between episodes with the cash that we got, what do we go ahead and do? Um, I'll have to see how much cultivators are, what kind of cultivator we want to buy. And then also, like I said, we need to, to save a little bit of cash because I want to put uh, probably a workstation over by the animal farm and also a pressure washer. I mean, we're talking small cash here and there, but we'll be spending some cash next episode, I do believe. So what we end up with, like $135,000 in the bank account when we get done here? Am I right on that? All right, oh, almost 140. Almost 140. Thank you, sunflowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so yeah, it won't, you know, the way the money is coming in at this point, it won't be too long before we can afford this, another harvester for cotton and, and a root crop harvester, which will allow us to, you know, change up what kind of crops. We, we'll have more options of crops to plant, uh, change it up a little bit on this map. But yeah, we are cruising along now on Mercury Farms, doing well. Our farms, our first farm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we started in Ravenport as a farm manager. Got our 10% pay after selling everything off. Came here with $1.7 million and we have grown this farm to where it is now. And it's like, yeah, okay, but you still only got 139000 in the bank account. But we own everything. We own everything. Ah, uh, yeah, so next episode, uh, definitely want to windrow the hay up there and then uh, bring that down and uh, probably to take care of the animals. So our cow situation, our worker did not, he did not finish fertilizing it. I'll do that after I get done recording here. Yeah, so we're at um, 84 cows and I think that pasture holds 250 or 300. So yeah, we might, even, you know, in, in, in the near future... Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just have to buy some more cows because we're getting four cows every 61 hours. So that's uh, every two and a half days. Two and a half days we'll get, well, right now it's another day. But yeah, I think we need to we need to up our cows a little bit. The sheep are doing fantastic. And of course the chickens are doing the chicken thing. Um, how many eggs did you guys produce for us today so far? I mean, look how many eggs they produced. So, I mean, we just we just sold the eggs. We just barely sold them, and they're filling up the pallets. Yeah, and I got extra wool pallets here. Uh, these chickens over here seem to be a little bit on the slow side. And I don't, I don't know, understand why. I mean, they got we got the same amount of chickens in both pens, and it seems like, I mean, you saw those two pallets, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what what's that all, what that's all about. I have no idea. Maybe these chickens uh, have better bugs over here that they're pecking at. I don't know. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next time on Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one.